Batman 44, uh, Tom King writing, Mikhail Jan and Joel Jones on the art. Uh, this has a, a flashback structure, and the flashbacks are by Jan and the present day stuff is by yeah. Joel Jones. What deal with Trigon did King make that he gets to write a book <laughs> with both Jones and Janin? Like, and then he has Gerard's or Gerard's and. and- and suddenly, like the, the two covers where Joel did the Catwoman one with the dress makes yeah. a lot more sense because the story in this is it's, it's Catwoman sneaking out of the mansion in the middle of the night to go and steal yeah. her wind dress to, to, to find well, and, and to steal. try them on. Which, which, yeah. which cracks me up is my wife used to work in, in the bridal market and sell dresses, and it looked like a shop she had worked in, hmm. you know. Uh, so so that, that cracked me up. Uh, yeah, just her coming in all because like, every panel with her's uh, time stamped. It's like here's here's yeah. it starts off like two in the morning, and then it's like you know throughout the night, her breaking in, trying on different dresses, but doing it this way because she's Catwoman. And then throughout the issue, yeah. it keeps flashing back to various time in Batman and Catwoman's history. Uh, one page encounters, and we basically get a glimpse of various outfits that they've both worn. Obviously, Batman's are relatively similar <laughs> throughout the ages. Just the odd little difference yeah, it, here or it, there. It, it's a timeline of Batman and Catwoman yeah. through through the eras. Catwoman. I, was, I was a little disappointed in the Batman ones because I feel like they were all still the mostly you know the grey. There wasn't a lot of the blue stuff. Yeah, that's, that's fair. Oh, we had, but, you know, we but did that, have the trunks uh, though. There were there was a couple of trunk yeah. pages, and I like that. You could yeah. tell they looked different enough though. Like it wasn't like they were the same ones, and they just coloured them differently. You know, so, no, no, like they, they were drawn differently, but there 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 were really subtle differences, and not they. <laughs> I think that's a problem with Batman and not the colorist there, Connor. He just he doesn't change. But I mean, you know, when you when you get those, you, you, I mean, we we get them every couple of years. The graphics that come up with all the different costumes they've ever had lined up. Yeah. I feel like there's a lot more variety than I'm seeing in this issue. Yeah, but I, I feel like the whole point of this is, you know, to to talk about the story as a whole. Batman really hasn't changed, whereas Catwoman has. Yeah. Catwoman okay. has gone from this, you know, thief. All the way up to basically her own type of superhero. Yeah, I mean, over the, the course of the relationship, the, the whole the whole sort of point of this this issue. At one point, they're even talking about it in one of the flashbacks. One of the more recent flashbacks is that she's basically you know all all the costume changing because she's her costume has been changing drastically throughout this. You look at this, yeah. and she's been had some shitty costumes over her time. That said, though, the the full purple suit with the black boots and gloves, I still like that one a lot. The Nightfall era. Yeah, more, more of that, Jan, yeah, please. Yeah. Uh, but. <laughs> We, 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 but she's like, oh no, we're, we're still trying to find what fits, and it, it, it nicely parallels to her mm-hmm. trying to find her perfect wedding dress, and it's just, you know, yeah. it, it's almost like she's trying to find out the life she wants, and she's maybe finally found it with Bruce, so there's some nice little subtext in there uh, from that. I know Connor didn't like this issue that much, though, so I'm going, to, I'm going to let him speak, and then me and Matt can bring everyone you, back. You, you, you to can get time. to the gushing, yeah. <laughs> it just really didn't work for me. Um, I don't know what it is, because I still like, you know, the... the 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 relationship between them like what what king's been doing i think that's still pretty solid i don't know just a lot of the, the issue feels kind of frivolous to me i'm like hey look at all this stuff it feels like a lot of the issue it, it, when i'm reading it like, it doesn't it doesn't quite feel like it's got the depth to me and and yeah you know, maybe you, you guys can disagree and you you can you know say that you feel like all this stuff's there but when i'm reading it i'm i'm kind of going okay i, I get it but it's it's just kind of you know, like okay, here's here's the beats. It's not really doing the the. It's not hitting me with with anything. Like there's no emotion to it. See, I when I first read it, because it's a very quick read. It's it's a lot told, in in the art or in the art. And as I let it sink in over the course of the week, I I liked it more when I thought about it. Just because mm. again, this this marriage is the biggest thing that's happened to Batman. I I would say since Damien. Yeah, since Popped you got kids. In, right? yeah. You know, so the fact that it's going through and with these broad strokes showing their relationship almost as like a clip show, but not in that lazy clip show way where they didn't have anything else. It's it's resetting the table yeah, for what's it, to come. Yeah, for me, this felt like a love letter to the history because because mm-hmm. as much as you know, in continuity, it's only may have been however many years since he's been active. It's like <laughs> no, that, this is like. Here's the 80 year or almost 80 year history of Batman yeah. and Catwoman. I, I think that's well, that's part of my problem is you know it's it's a love letter to the history, but that's not the first time King's done this already, and it, um, it's starting to feel like okay he keeps I don't coming know. back to this. It's a thread that I like that started where where first I was annoyed that they call themselves Bat and Cat, 
But here it justified that relationship because at the end of the day, that's who they are. You know, they're not Bruce and Selena. They're the bat and the cat. Yeah, I, and I, I actually like No matter that. how you dress them, that's who they are. Yeah, I, feel, I, I like that this is an extension of when he, he did the, the, the sort of the, the flashback, you know, the whole boat and, you know, on, you know, on a boat, on a street, mm. sort of, you know, which yeah, was the it's origin story. With, it's, a, it's a meta commentary, you know, on, on that because yeah. you could look at this and let's say they, Batman's only been active 15 years. She's dressed like she's from the 40s the first time you see her. Yeah. Like, that actually doesn't make any sense, but in the grand scheme of the story, for what it represents, you know, it's almost like they're a timeless love. Yeah, yeah it doesn't actually... Yeah, I like that phrase. It's, it's timeless love. I, I think you don't have to take the flashbacks literal like that. You don't have to just say, oh, yeah, this was actually how they were dressed, you know, 10 years ago kind I'm, of thing. I'm, I'm not saying yeah. that, that, that they were. Yeah, you know, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> criticising that. I, I'm just saying that the shtick's feeling a little bit old to me. Doing ah, this again. I, I dug this. I, I, I think this is uh, my favorite issue. He's Batman, and before the Ivy ones, at least the before before the Wonder Woman two part. Yeah. So I, I think. What, I say, what, go on. Go ahead. Well, I just wanted to praise Jones because to to kind of come in and steal Jan and Thunder. Yeah. I think like that. That's a skill and. I've I've really loved a lot of what Jones does. There's only been one issue where I really didn't like it and it felt, you know, rushed and whatnot. But but here, like, there's a panel of her laying on the ground in in the bridal shop, and she's like, I've seen my cat do that. <laughs> they just lay and sprawl out and it just she's truly happy. I I you know, uh, I I'm yeah. f- very familiar with this pose, yes. Yeah. In fact, I want to, I want to praise the facial work as well because uh there's a there's a panel where she holds up a dress and she makes this like yuck face at the dress, like, like she's like nah yeah. sucks, but it's just it's all it's just a facial expression, but it's perfect. I get the 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 moment and the 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 emotion from her completely, and yeah. it's also kind of funny because it's a pfft face. It's good. Uh-huh. Like, uh, uh, yeah, I, I've got nothing bad to say about the art. I, uh, I really haven't. The, the art is top quality. It was good. I liked it a lot. Uh, you you like the, the the Nightfall era purple with her long hair? Oh yeah. Uh, and, uh, and I was going through trying to think about what my favorite costume of hers is, and I think it is the most recent where it's more tactical. Oh sure, it's yeah, like the leather with the hat. But I think you know, I wanted to pick something else, but it, that one mainly because of the I think it was the Brewbaker run and whoever did the art there. Yeah, um, it's yeah, just it's super iconic. I think to I me. think for a more grounded look, yeah, the, the modern one with the goggles is definitely the the, the one you yeah. go with. Um, I think if I, if I want a more comic booky look, though, I think that Nightfall era is kind of. Yeah, that's good. The one I like, but I mean, it's, it's, it's up to taste. Yeah. The old so ones I, are pretty goofy, though. I, I will say, I, I think I'm getting into a pattern with with King's Batman, and maybe this is just something that with King as a whole is. I feel like for me, I need to have him doing a solid plot to back things up. Otherwise, it kind of just feels wishy washy to me. Because this is, you know, not the first time I felt this now. And, you know, the, these are, t- from a technical point of view, I can't really fault these, but they feel, they're just not hitting me. They're feeling a bit hollow. But it's when there's a plot to back it up that I'm getting invested. This is where we have an advantage over you because we have souls. So we feel the, the, yeah, the emotion <laughs> of, of yeah. what's going on. I, I can feel emotion. I'm just not feeling it here. So I just, you say that about the plots, and I, you know, if you guys remember, you know, cycle back to two years ago when we started. And I was like, I don't know if King gets Batman. I, you know, that that doubt's gone. You know, mm. uh, anything since, you know, I am suicide. I mean, he- I mean hell, Matt. I, 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 I think King's Batman's one of the most vulnerable Batman I've seen. I mean, yeah, sure, and, you that's, can... and I, that's why I like it so much. I, mean, I like, you know, sure, he's not a badass. You can criticize that, and you know, the Ivy arc, he was taking out flashes quite easily. But it, on yeah. an emotional level, but he I, is I so vulnerable because. Because the story around that, though, that that's Ivy controlling the flashes, right? That's not, mm. you know, it, it's him doing his job as Batman. Oh yeah, we, we we can get in there, and explain it away. <laughs> of course, well, we can. Well, no, yeah, but first I'm suicide, where he's resetting his broken back, and this stuff. I'm just like, ugh, I hate this. But then he goes, and I am Batman, and by the end of that arc, he's completely vulnerable, and he's talking about the death of his parents and how it's affected him, you know. Uh, and we've gotten completely away from the Gotham Girl stuff. I feel like that was supposed to be super important going forward, and it still might. But in writing the Catwoman stuff, King's kind of mm. 
been able to call an audible. Maybe, maybe that'll whip back for him. Maybe that'll be because he says we go 100 issues. Maybe it'll be the very final arc that'll bring the Gotham yeah. Girl stuff back. I, in. I hope it's a bit more than that because it was, you know, that first arc promised so much, you know, with, at the end it of it. Is. And then I'm like, yeah. oh, okay, I've never got any sort of payoff to this. Yeah, but here's the so, thing. I'm still okay with that. Apparently, I'm enjoying it, what I'm getting right now. Yeah, here's the thing, though. I think the book's been better since. Like, I, I think that first arc's one of the weaker sections of the whole run, so. I don't necessarily mind if we don't go back to I know, it. I, I think King settled into his, his groove a bit more, but I'd like to get back to that stuff. Um, more, more, probably more than I would this stuff, personally. I, um, I like this way better. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I, I'm so you know confident in... Uh, so what I'm looking for. Secure in, in Lois and Clark's relationship. Mm. I like exploring you know the, the Bruce and Selena. You know, I like these little takes that he's he's adding in there and and the stuff with Ivy and how you know how how those two had to team up to to talk her down, you know. And that's uh, I don't know, I, it's weird. I, I guess I, I'm just at a point now where I'm like, okay, I kind of want to just get to the wedding so I can write. Okay, that's done. Now I can get back to whatever the next. Connor's you know, the guy that gets drunk and dances with himself at weddings. This is all he wants. <laughs> he, just, he just wants to get there so he can have a good time and then forget about it. Yeah, and this is the thing. Like, I think there's a lot of valid criticisms about the Ivy arc, right? There was a lot of things, especially the, the final issue. I, I had my own problems with. Yeah. Um, I, I think for me, this issue is exactly why I like King's Batman run. This issue, taking the time to just focus on this one simple little event and not having a big bit of plot, is actually why I like it. I like just the, taking the time to feel the the impact of the just the fact that Catwoman was out looking for her wedding dress to marry Batman. That's a big event. It is treating I, I it like with gravitas. That side of it. She has to do it by herself. Like she yeah. can't. She doesn't have bridesmaids, really, that she can count on to go help her. So she goes and does it on her own and then comes back. And uh, if I have one criticism in the art, it's that Alfred looks a little bit too old in the, in the, the last page, you know? Sure. Uh, but other than that, the, the look that they give each other, Jones just nails. So... I, I, yeah. I like the present day stuff a lot more because at least I, I, I'm like, okay, I'm getting that. But it, it's all the, the other stuff. It feels like, oh, here's the history again. Here's, okay, here's the, the broad strokes, the greatest hits. And I feel like uh, King's already played this card. And now I'm feeling like, okay, we're just redoing that. I disagree. Just, I, I, don't think, I don't think that's a card that's being replayed. I think it's a through line that's still going. Going. Okay. Yeah, I agree. Between this and the, what was it, the annual, where, where we got the, the last Batman story, where he's sick and the family comes. Mm. Yeah. Um, that, I, I feel these are a nice tone, you know, to themselves. You know, uh, they, they partner well. So, I don't know, I really enjoyed this more than I thought I would.